having a nice resume and attractive LinkedIn profile is obviously great. But what about GitHub? So GitHub is a platform where you can store your code, showcase your projects, contribute to other people's project and ultimately highlight your skills. Due to this, GitHub can provide you with so many opportunities. In fact, a huge number of people get remote jobs through GitHub every single day. You're hired. This is why it's very important for you to have an impressive GitHub profile. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create GitHub profiles like this from scratch. Let's get started. All right, so I'm here on my computer screen and let's start with creating an awesome GitHub profile for you like this or like this. So by the end of the video, you will have GitHub profile created, listing down all your skills and your contacts. Along with this, I'll also share you some websites that can help you create templates for this. So let's start with creating this from scratch. To do this, you need to have a repository. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that I have so I can show you things from scratch. This is a repository that is responsible for you to create a profile like this. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this repository. I want to delete this repository and I have read and understand this effects. Okay. So to create readme profiles, you will first need to create a repository and you need to click on new option here in the repository section, or you can always click on this, your repositories, and then click on new repository here. Once you click on this new repository, you need to give the name of this repository. And for the name, you need to choose your own username. So for me, the name is N4SI, which is Nasi. So I'll say N4SI. When I give this name, you see GitHub has given you a message saying N4SI or Nasi is a special repository that you can use to add readme.md to, to your GitHub profile and make sure it is public and it has a readme.md as well. So let's type a description, let's say hello world, hello world, this is my profile. Something like this. I'll make it public. You will have to make your profile public so that it can be shown everywhere. And it's also mentioned here. So it should be public and it should have a readme.md. So I'll go ahead and add readme.md. Now when everything is done, you need to click on create repository button here. And this will start creating your repository. And once the repository is created, you see uh, there's a sample readme.md and you can edit this readme.md to showcase your public profile. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this pencil symbol. And this will give me a template on what things I can add. So you can see there are some templates here that you can add. Uh, but to make things more easy, you can either use ChatGPT to help you out or you can use a different websites. So I have a website here that can help you. So this is the website that you can use to create your uh, readme.md. Let me show you how it works. So I'll share the link of this, this website in the description box. You need to put your, all your details. So I have, my name is Nasir Chaudhary. I'm a passionate DevOps engineer. I am working on this. I want to collaborate on cloud native projects. So everything that you want to put, depending on your skill set or things that you're working on, you can put it here. And once everything is ready, you can select these skills. So let's say I have skills in Python. So I have Python selected. I have skills in Ruby as well. So I have selected that. I have uh, front end development. I have used React. So let's choose React here. I also have HTML and CSS knowledge. For backend, I've used Node.js, Kafka, uh, Nginx, RabbitMQ and Hadoop as well as GraphQL. So I've selected those. For mobile development, I've used uh, Android and React Native here. For AIML, you can choose this depending on your skill set. So this is all the template that you can use. Once everything is ready, scroll down and enter your social details here and click on Generate Readme. You can also choose more add-ons. Like if you want to see how many visitors have checked your profile, you can add it. Uh, if you want to add GitHub read trophies, profile skills, all this text, you can add it. Now click on generate readme.md and this will give you the code that you need to enter in your readme.md. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this, paste this in my profile. So I'll select everything and paste it here. Now, if you want to see how it looks, you can go ahead and click on this preview option, which will give you a preview. And this is how it looks. You can add more things like GIFs as I have done here. So I have a GIF entered. This is what the code gives you. And you can add more things in it. You can try to customize or add GIFs or videos, images, you whatever you like in your GitHub profile. Uh, now, another website that can help you create something like this is Profile Readme Generator that I'll be sharing you the link for in the description. And you can see in this, you have a 
GIS and also a game. So if you want to get the code, you can click on generate readme option and this will give you the code for it along with the uh, GitHub workflows that, that makes the app run. So you can either choose to directly copy this and start using it. So if I copy this and put it here in my readme.md, I'll have this preview now. So I can go ahead and you can see this is how my GitHub profile looks like now. You can also go ahead and choose any other uh, any other if you like if you want to go with this simple one you can choose to copy and get the readme you can also get this one or else let's go ahead and uh, try to ask chat gpt to create a profile for us i'm going to add a prompt here i am a devops engineer with skills in aws azure docker kubernetes python golang Whatever you have, uh, so create a readme.md for my GitHub profile. Add images and styles. So once you do this, it will create a readme.md for you, which you can directly paste. Having a good GitHub profile can be very, very important. Uh, let's see what ChatGPT has given for you. Most likely you will need to update this URLs, the image URLs, and you can get the URLs from Google. Let's say you want to get the URL for AWS, so you'll say AWS GIF, and you can go ahead and click on images option here. If you want to just have GIF, click on tools and select the type as GIF. And if you want to have transparent background, you can choose color and say transparent. This way you can get a uh, GIF only for, so this is how I got my AWS one. Similarly, you can get it for other technologies as well. Uh, now let's go ahead and try to see what ChatGPT has given us. I'm going to copy this and paste it in our readme.md. And let's see what it looks like. So this is a preview. It, it's not bad. I think you can edit this and add more styles to it. So Shubham Lone also has a good profile as you can see here. But I'm going to paste the link of all the different popular good profiles that you can see. So here there's a list of all the different GitHub profiles that you can use from uh, all of them are very impressive so you can see this is a good profile that you can use so and i'll paste the link for this github which has all the list of awesome readme's uh, in the description so make sure you check it out so once you have selected what you want to go with for example i'm going to go with this github readme and let me show you the preview here so this is what i want to use for my particular account i can go ahead and click on commit change once I click on commit change, I need to add a commit message and say commit changes. And now when you see my profile now, so rather than having a boring profile, now I have a good profile that showcases all my things. And this is how you can create a GitHub readme.md. So now I hope you have a professional looking GitHub profile. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section, like this video, subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Bye.